Pseudopalbar palsy is a medical condition characterized by the inability to control facial movements and caused by a variety of neurological disorders. Patients experience difficulty chewing and swallowing, have increased reflexes and spasticity in tongue and the bulbar region, and demonstrate slurred speech, sometimes also demonstrating uncontrolled emotional outbursts. The condition is usually caused by the damage to the neurons of the brainstem, specifically to the cortical bulbar tract. Causes Pseudobulbar palsy is the result of damage of motor fibers traveling from the cerebral cortex to the lower brainstem. This damage might arise in the course of a variety of neurological conditions that involve demyelination and bilateral corticobulbar lesions. Examples include, vascular causes, bilateral hemisphere infarction, CADASIL syndrome, progressive supranuclear palsy, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Parkinson's disease and related multiple system atrophy, various motor neuron diseases, especially those involving demyelination multiple sclerosis and other inflammatory disorders, high brain stem tumors, metabolic causes, osmotic demyelination syndrome, neurological involvement in Bihar section A's disease, brain trauma. Pathophysiology, the proposed mechanism of pseudopalbar palsy points to the disinhibition of the motor neurons controlling laughter and crying, proposing that a reciprocal pathway exists between the cerebellum and the brain stem that adjusts laughter and crying responses, making them appropriate to context. The pseudopalbar crying could also be induced by stimulation in the region of the subthalamic nucleus of the brain. Signs and Symptoms Signs and symptoms of pseudopalbar palsy include, slow and indistinct speech, dysphagia, small, stiff and spastic tongue, brisk jaw jerk, dysothria, labile effect, gag reflex may be normal, exaggerated or absent, examination may reveal upper motor neuron lesion of the limbs. Diagnosis Diagnosis of pseudopalbar palsy is based on observation of the symptoms of the condition. Tests examining jaw jerk and gag reflex can also be performed. It has been suggested that the majority of patients with pathological laughter and crying have pseudobulbar palsy due to bilateral corticobulbar lesions and often a bipyramidal involvement of arms and legs. To further confirm the condition, MRI can be performed to define the areas of brain abnormality. Treatment Since pseudobulbar palsy is a syndrome associated with other diseases, Treating the underlying disease may eventually reduce the symptoms of pseudobulbar palsy. Possible pharmacological interventions for pseudobulbar effect include the tricyclic antidepressants, serotonin reuptake inhibitors, and a novel approach utilizing dextromethorphan and quinidine sulfate. Muedexter is an FDA-approved medication for pseudobulbar effect. Dextromethorphan, an N-methyl D-aspartate receptor antagonist, inhibits glutamatergic transmission in the regions of the brainstem and cerebellum, which are hypothesized to be involved in pseudobulbar symptoms, and acts as a sigma ligand, binding to the sigma-1 receptors that mediate the emotional motor expression. See also, corticobulbar tract, bulbar palsy, a similar syndrome caused by the damage of lower motor neurons. References External links 248,512,525 at Knotebook Pseudopalbar Palsy, 456,458,269 at Knotebook Comparison of Bulbar and Pseudopalbar Palsy, e-notes.